How to Train Your Cactus by Towen Jones, a guy to raising well behaved succulents. I just find that I just find that funny in a lot in a few other like sentences that is written in here are kinda like cute and funny. So you do get that type of stuff throughout here. It's a pretty recent release, 2018, well this edition, but anyway, so you get a key, so on the page number, you get one of these two keys. This would mean that the plant that is being talked about is a succulent, and then this one would be if the plant is a cactus, cacti. Come on. But anyway, you get the blurry bit. <laughs> kind of blurry. So, you get a small introduction, and then you get this type of illustration for each of the plants that are talked about. So you, you don't actually get a photograph, you actually get a pretty decent illustration of the succulent or, clay, or cactus. So, got like... <laughs> Family planning. <laughs> so like propagation, um, growing from seeds, um, like the materials you would need, like soil, containers, um, styling, so like color, texture, shape, um, troubleshooting. So you get some like overwatering, room temp, sun, you get like pests and disease. Um, so it's very basic type of introduction to taking care of the plant. And then, um, so by the quick introduction to um, caring for the plant and then you get into it. So basic setup for each plant is pretty much the same. So you get the name of it and like the like Latin scientific name, a kind of introduction to the plant. So um, looking for an easy going and easy growing companion, look no further than this purple playmate, a plum colored rosette composed of fleshy leaves, so skinny, no, no so shiny. They may be mistaken for plastic purchase on a branching stem resembling an overgrown flower or mini tree. So, so it's tree house, house leak. And then you get inform like training notes. So what to like maximum size, soil, water, flowers. Watch out for root rot, overly long stems that might snap, or or so on and styling notes. So, house leaks adore full sunlight and enjoy the respite of afternoon or partial sea shade in the summer. So, it's basically taking how to take care of each plant. So, how to give it like, how to help it grow and be its best and then to keep it looking good. So, It's likely not going to focus on the page number, but that's the succulent one, and then we got again the cactus looking one. So, again, you do get the similar setup for each and every one of those, and like this book isn't technical um, kind of gardening book. It's still, I find like it has 
good amount of information. It's not droning on and on on how to take care of them. It's like, this is what it needs for water. This is what it needs for um, soil and how to keep it well maintained in like to me a nice little lighthearted kind of way. So like you got like the Christmas cactus. So maximum size 18 inches wide and high soil, comfy and standard cactus mix or loam based soil, feed it liquid fertilizer during growing season spring to fall. So you get the straight and for forward um, information and like the intros again that kind of like jab or whatever you want to call um call it but yeah um and then you got plant finder so it's basically an index divided into cactus and then um succulents um so if you want a cacti a cactus it does tell you and then if you want succulents it tells you and there's more succulents than cacti in here and then you got buyer's guides, so um, some like online resources and then um, a few places in the states. So it's just, except for the mention of Lowe's and Home Depot, it's more New York, Texas, and California places. But yeah, uh, $14.99 US, $19.99 Canadian. And yeah, how to train your cactus. Happy readings.